Hi everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcast channel and today's tutorial is going to be really quick and easy. It's just a, you know, these little tissues you get for your uh, purse. Um, it's just a little cover for that tissue uh, and you just, um, very easy, all du uh, double crochets and then we're just going to sew the edges. And these you could either leave them plain, you can embellish them with buttons. I bought these buttons at Michael's, they were like $2 for all of these, so if you wanted to you could sew on little buttons different kinds and they have like these cute little monkey ones they have sports ones or you could even crochet flowers and put them on it's up to you so this is going to be using just a regular worsted weight yarn I uh, use it super saver for this and it's uh, super easy I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial and let's get the party started okay everyone to begin our tutorial I'm going to be using an eye hook which is a size 9, it's 5.5 millimeter. To begin, you're just going to start with 20 chains, okay? So I'm going to do my slip loop, okay? And just do your 20 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm trying to hold the camera here and do this at the tank. 19, 20. Once you do your 20 chains, we're just going to do a double crochet beginning in the third chain. Okay, to do our double crochet, we yarn over, meaning we wrap our yarn over our hook. We go into that third chain, we pull up, there'll be three loops of yarn on our hook. We're going to pull through the first two, then there'll be two, then we pull up through the next two. So we're going to repeat that in all the remaining chains, all the way across. Let's see if I can see this here. So then I want you to go ahead and do one double crochet in each chain. Okay. And I know it might seem a little bit um, like it might be too small, but this stretches the yarn. You could also do them in cotton if you want to. It's up to you. And um, so go ahead and do one double crochet in each chain across. Okay, I finished my first row. Now to go up to my next row, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to turn my work over. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in every chain. And we're going to begin here in the same stitch here, in the same stitch there. So here you begin your first double crochet. And you're going to do one double crochet in every single stitch here and every chain here. It's actually our stitch. Every one or across, okay? So you're going to do this. And you, when you get to the end of the row here, you're going to, you're going to end here not on the chain three here you're going to in here and then you're going to chain three turn around and you're going to repeat this until you have 10 rows of these double crochets so i'm going to go ahead and finish here my row and then i'm going to start doing my next row chaining three and going up and i'm going to do that until i have 10 rows so go ahead and do this until you have 10 rows then we'll come back and we'll work on our step of putting it together Remember, if you want, you can change colors every row, and this is a great way to use up all your yarn scraps, or you can make it all a solid color. That's up to you. If you have a lot of little yarn scraps like I have, all kinds of different um, yarn, as long as they're the same weight, the same type of yarn, then it'll be okay, and you can even do rainbow ones or your favorite colors, whatever you want, your team colors, whatever. So go ahead and do this, and then I'll be back with, I finished doing this in my 10 rows. This I'm just going to do in a solid color. Okay, I finished my 10th row here. So I'm going to fold this over. And now I want to slip stitch into the first five chains, both layers. So here I'm going to go through this, my first chain of that foundation chain. I'm going to pull through there. Oops, didn't come through all the way. Okay, let me get sure. I'm going to go through the first chain here once again to secure it because I didn't get that first one there. 
slip stitch okay and then you're going to continue that for until you have five little chains so here I'm going to th both this one and the one in back right there I'm going to pull through and I'm going to slip stitch there go to my next chain and then the one in the back that's three next stitch so I'm getting both layers here that's four then my next one is five okay so I'm gonna do five there make sure I have five one two three four five okay so here I'm gonna just fasten off and leave a tail Move it back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna fasten off, leave a tail that I'll sew in later. Okay. These you'll have to sew in. Now I'm gonna go to the other side, put in my hook through my first chain, and my first two, three, and my first one on the other side. Get my yarn. Okay. Make a little, a little bit too long there. Make a quick little knot, just one little stitch. Now here I'm going to slip stitch because we do have single crochet there, and go back and slip stitch again just to reinforce the corner. Because usually if it's going to tear, it's going to tear there in the corner. Now I'm going to go to my next chain both rounds here from the front and the back hold this down uh oh okay here's the front one go to the back one I'm gonna pull through both of those okay chain slip stitch to the next two That's three then the next one four and five so this is our last one and then we're going to have that little opening in the middle. I'm going to leave a tail here that I could sew through. So I'm just going to fasten this off. I'm going to sew through those. So now this is our right side. Okay, we're going to flatten this up just like that. And now I'm going to sew my edges. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn this inside out flip it inside out here okay this is the inside part and now I'm going to get a needle and let me get my needle here my favorite needle and my needle threader I can see here and I'm just going to thread it and I'm going to sew the ends, okay? Get a piece of yarn. So now here, I'm just going to get this folded to make sure that this is in the middle. It's going to start at the corners, get the top and the bottom. Okay, so this here. Just make a little knot and I'm going to kind of hide that little knot. Remember this is the inside of the bag, uh, the little holder. Now you're going to get part of the chain in front and the one in back and you're going to sew it all the way across just like that. Okay. If you're left handed then you would can flip it the other way there. I'm just going to whip stitch it there. Let me get a little bit closer so hopefully you could see better. Okay. Get my needle. And you're going to sew this way. You're going to sew both ends, okay? Getting to the top. Get through both the top and the bottom. Here. So through there, 
and now it's closing off my end there so I'm just going to continue doing that across and then I'm going to sew my other end just like that okay make sure you get both edges here even it out so then you see that this side this end is already sewn see just all there that's just a post I thought I had missed that so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this side when I get to the end here then I'll fasten off my yarn pull this out here Almost to the end. And that's the end here. Now I'm just going to make a little knot. Just fasten it off there and then just weave in my tail a little bit before I cut it. Just that way. Okay, now I'm going to cut this. So this side is sewn. Okay. So that side is done. Now I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to get another piece of yarn because this one's too short. And sew this end. So go ahead and sew the other end the same way. Okay, I finished sewing both sides. Now I'm going to turn it back around. Once it's back around here, I'm going to have to sew in my tails. Get this straight here. Oops. Okay, this one I had already done. I don't know why it came out. So then, put out the corners here. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these two tails in. Just weave them in. And then I'll be ready if I want to embellish it with buttons or crochet flowers or ribbon you can weave with ribbon through it whatever you want to do to decorate it or you could just leave it plain now here I'm just going to weave just sew in my tail through there make sure I don't get the bottom part okay you don't want to sew it shut you just want to be able to weave the tail in and out okay I have that in there. Let me trim this so it won't come off. And I'm going to sew in my other tail here. And that's why sometimes I hate leaving it, I try not to leave them too short because then sometimes they make it harder to sew them in or kind of lose them much. Hopefully this won't be a problem. Put my finger in there because I don't want it to get lost. I don't want it to sew the top to the bottom part that's not good then my last piece here okay so this is done see how easy that is then you could just slip in your um, tissues in there one side and then squeeze it in so to the other side there we go um, then you would want to just open your thing here. It says to open it, pull it open. I'm not going to do that one. I already have one open here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, it looks open this way, but once you get the tissue through, it'll just be this way. I'm going to sew it on some buttons. And like I said, you could put pretty buttons. You could put uh, crochet flowers. You could put, you could even make this like a little monster. You could put two eyes here and then maybe red around here. Like the this is the opening of the mouth. It's really... Your, uh, your ID, whatever ideas you have. So I'm going to put some buttons on them. We'll come back and then you can see what they look like with these buttons. Okay, everyone. So the, I just wanted to show you how you could just embellish this with different buttons. These packages, I got all of these at Michael's. They have different kinds of flowers and you could see all... Let me see if I could show you all the different um, 
sizes of flowers they have. So you could just put them on your on your bag, your little uh, tissue holder. You could put buttons. You could leave it plain if you want. They also have these, the ones, the monkey ones I had shown you. So you could put a monkey with his banana, maybe a monkey and a banana on the other side, or several monkeys. Up to you. They also have these that are um, butterflies, I mean butterflies, ladybugs. This one for like sports. I have these little ones with little balls. So if you make these your team colors, especially for March Madness, you could put little basketballs, whatever you want, footballs if you're a football fan. I always also had these um, heart ones that come in different sizes. So you could put hearts. Um, so just whatever you guys want to do. Um, like I said, these other ones are really cute too. So you can make them dainty or you could just make them really super whimsical. This is really big. So I mean, just go ahead and put whatever kind of button you want. And if you want to crochet some of the flowers that are on my video, um, on my YouTube uh, channel, I have a playlist called uh, Flowers and Leaves. You can get a lot of crochet ideas for different flowers there. So you just go ahead and decorate it either way, anywhere you want. You could even do um, two buttons. Um, uh, two buttons, uh, black buttons or whatever. You can make two of them for eyes. And then do this. Just do a single crochet or a slip stitch here around this edge of red to make it look like a mouth. And you could just make like little monster looking things. So anyway, just go ahead and do it whichever way you want. Your imagination can really soar. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a really fun and quick, easy project that even kids can do with help from you. And uh, they make great little gifts. And, uh, you know, that way you could have something cute instead of a regular, just a plain tissue holder. I think I'm going to put some crochet flowers on this one. I'm going to go to my, um, probably put some little briar roses or whatever on here. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And please share my videos with your friends and family. Help me grow my channel. I hope you have a great day and remember God loves you.